pastors at Faith Lutheran Church here in Anchorage, Alaska. Welcome to our series of daily devotions for Advent 2020, Be Near Me, Lord Jesus. You will find additional resources for this devotion for your personal use in the comments section of this video. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today's reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. This is God's Word. Here we are at the beginning of Advent, so let's start at the beginning. Who is this Word that was in the beginning? Well, John tells us that he is God, that he made, that is, he created all things, and that he is life. If you continue reading in the Gospel of John, it becomes very clear that John is talking about Jesus, the Christ. The season of Advent serves to prepare us to celebrate the birth of the Word, our Christ. Perhaps you've already started hearing the popular Christmas carol, Away in a Manger, and the third stanza, Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask you to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. That prayer has special meaning for us this year, doesn't it? We all have different reasons to pray for Jesus to be near us. For many of us, we were not able to gather with as many family and friends for Thanksgiving as we have in the past. Maybe you were even quarantined and celebrated Thanksgiving alone. We struggle with the feelings of loneliness and even depression. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed with so many changes from normal life that seem to have happened overnight. Friends you haven't seen, perhaps, for months? Children going to school at home? Working at home? Or working at work, but with new protocols to keep your physical contact with other people to a minimum? Maybe you are struggling with anxiety, worried about your health afraid of what other unexpected changes lie right around the corner in the future. We cry out for help because we see how helpless we are. We live in an imperfect world even though the Word created the world perfect to begin with. Mankind sinned against the Creator and you and I continue to sin daily. And so, we have to deal with the consequences of sin, sadness, separation, fear, and yes, even death. In the end, that's at the heart and core of why we need help. We cry out, be near me, Lord Jesus, help me. And he does. The eternal, timeless word entered time to help us. The one who is the creator of all things came into his creation to be near the created. The one who is life died. 
He died for you and for me, taking our sin upon himself on the cross, that we can have life, real life, eternal life, in him and with him in heaven. It is the life that we receive from Jesus that takes away the sadness and depression, that sustains us even when we feel overwhelmed, and removes fear of the future, and replaces it all with his forgiveness, comfort, and confidence. As we begin this Advent together, pray with me, be near me, Lord Jesus, and hear the word as he answers the eternal word, tell you, I am. Jesus is with you. He loves you, and he always will. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for entering time and creation to rescue us from our sins and from the punishment we deserved. Strengthen our faith and trust in you because of your promise that everyone who believes in you will not perish, but will have eternal life. Be near us and help us to be near to you. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me for.